Getting out of bed is hard some days. I couldn't do it for a week. Being kind to yourself is hard some days. I've been trying to learn how to for 20 years. My mind is really hard on my body some days. We all have those. Healing feels harder some days. And I think that's the point. Some days we need to take a break from our routines. You need to break down some friendships. You need to break off. And there's a past version of yourself you have to break up with in order to move on someday. So come take a break with me. We are heading out to the wilderness. We have the last two hours at home to pack, work out, eat. So let's go for crew workout first. Mm, that banana's perfect. I'm terrified of butterflies and ladybugs, so I wouldn't exactly describe myself as a nature girl. So when my family planned a trip to Banff, Alberta, this beautiful little city in Canada with mountains and lakes and wildlife, you know, nature, I was excited, but I wasn't like excited if you know what I mean. I went once when I was 10, so I was expecting some relaxing scenic walks, to befriend some mosquitoes, eat some mediocre mountain food, and to stay in the hotel room editing. But turns out, nature is actually the perfect social media repellent. Aimlessly walking up and down in a little town felt strangely healing, and a week in the mountains was exactly what I needed. I am her, the me that just needs a good workout and a bowl of oats to feel happiness. Yeah, it doesn't take much, but sometimes it's all just a little too much. Smiling hurts, speaking, even thinking is exhausting. Definitely overpacked! Okay, definitely don't need this, but I'm bringing it anyway. Running shoes, bathing suit, workout set, shorts, leggings, sunscreen, sunglasses, airpods, workout earphones, chargers, 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 pad, iPad charger. I've always been that 6 a.m. up and grind workaholic to-do list obsessed person who just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and I guess I crashed. Not just mentally crashed, but like physically couldn't get out of bed for four days. Kind of crashed. I'm gonna miss mommy. Mommy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been happening more and more often. It's like I'm wiped out before the day even begins. I get up to eat, stare at my computer, and go back to bed. I always feel so guilty and lazy and terrible, but I decided to try something new. Instead of bullying myself into being productive, I let myself sob and mope around and feel bad for myself. I let myself rest. We are taking this peanut butter in the air. Is it excessive? Yes. Is it true love? Yes. I hope this passes security. And after a week or so, I woke up and had this weird urge to move. I did some yoga. I gave myself three tiny tasks. I only ended up finishing two of them and then took a nap, but I got up again the next day and the next and went through the motions and just listened because my body was clearly trying to tell me to stop. Guys, we made it. Oh my god, look at all this free water. Mommy, they have oatmeal. Oh my god, no way, no way. Is this the best day of my life? I let everything kind of just go and I trusted that I would come back. And eventually, I did. I'm kind of a genius. Blueberry muffin, slays. I'm sweating. They have chocolate chips. We love free food. Do you rate this free food? 9 out of 10. Mommy is like best meal of the trip. <laughs> That's the worst apple I've ever had. When people say, take your time to heal, healing is a process, this feels so healing. I was always like, what? What am I healing from? Nothing terribly tragic has ever happened to me. Most days I'm actually in awe of my life. You'd think the least I could do to thank life is be happy, right? I know it sounds kind of messed up, but the pressure to always be happy is the thing that's causing me the most sadness. But you know, just because we have so much goodness doesn't mean we aren't allowed to feel anything but good at all times. Hello, we are in the rental car. Our internet provider service is down across the country. Well, we're in this random place. No idea where we're supposed to go. No idea what we're doing. We're doing it the old fashioned way. Maps. Life is really tough without data. Head west towards Port Trail. Airport, northeast. So go. Forward, I think. I don't know. 
Oh, I don't know. What's the next direction? I have no clue where we're going. You better run, better run. It's very beautiful here. It is the most beautifulest. I'm definitely speeding. I have a good, really good, but I still know what it means to hurt and what loss is in my own way. I still grew up in the same world that taught all of us that our bodies weren't enough. I'm still working on accepting and forgiving myself, and I haven't moved on fully. You know, you don't need a tragic story to want to work towards a better relationship with yourself. This place is so beautiful. I feel so at peace. Back to the hotel. Having some peanut butter. We want to eat for dinner. No, ma, that way. Okay. Vacation spot with something you've been dating for a year. Someone I've dated for a year? Doesn't seem possible. Oh. So beautiful. <laughs> so different from last time. Last time we came, it was all like rainy and sad. Oh, hello. Well, I still don't really know what healing means. It's kind of like this all-encompassing word for self-reflection, forgiveness, choosing yourself, an exhausting emotional roller coaster that never really ends. Terrible days and beautiful oh. ones too. Nourishing with food and love and gratitude, growth because you have to sometimes, not always because you want to. It's a lot of patience, walking when all you want to do is run, to not just slap on a band-aid and convince yourself you're better. It's knowing when to push the brakes. I thought I'd never find waffle fries better than Chick-fil-A, but I found the perfect amount of crispy and the perfect amount of potatoes. It's a lot of feeling all the emotions you've distracted yourself from. Feeling, accepting, embracing, instead of resisting. I just think back to all the times I forbid myself from feeling something or saying something or eating something. It resulted in emotional explosions, unnecessary resentment, and food guilt along with years trying to repair it. <laughs> really hard piece of rice and I broke. Because resisting adds fuel to the fire. By suppressing, you never face it. And if you don't face it, you can't really heal from it. On this personal acceptance journey of mine, a big part of it has been focusing on realness instead of perfection. And it hasn't been easy, like owning who I am, my insecurities, my imperfections, my proportions, my underarm jiggle, my chins, my scars, my softness, my shape, my body. But I don't know, I want to be confident in my own skin instead of only being confident when I hide it. Showing up as I am, even if it's a little terrifying at first, there's something so freeing about it. So, I recently got rid of all my bras. Only bras I own now, other than my sports bras, obviously, are from Nay Like, I'm not even kidding, that's how much I love them, and that's how confident and comfortable they make me feel in my own skin. Nay means feeling good inside and out and they're barely zero collection oh it's literal perfection when i say comfortable i mean like so unbelievably comfy and soft and supportive and silky and just yeah i've just never been this attached to a bra you can check out all of their products on nay.life and if they have your size and their size range you don't even have to worry if it's gonna fit because it's made to adapt to your body just as you are as clothing should there are different styles and colors and something for everyone everybody oh, seriously i just want all my clothes to be made out of this material and that's why i actually live in it lounging shopping, doing yoga, cooking, reading, sleeping, eating, you name it, Nay is somewhere on my body. I wear it with jeans, I wear it with dresses, I wear it dancing around my room half naked. <laughs> They're made to live in. And it was a really good reminder for me that my body was made to live in, not made to hide. Exam done. Croissant time! Good morning, Banff. Good morning, hotel across the road. Good morning, brother. Perfect. Just good vibes. This is the place I belong. Ooh, oh my gosh. So good. One. Wow. My God. Oh my God. Why do you eat oranges like that? It's so much easier. Ten dollar yogurt parfait. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's delicious. I do believe it is time for a croissant bite. What the heck? Pre-lunch croissant. Beautiful ham and cheese croissant. This is it. Let's stop. It smells. Oh, it smells so good. This is the best smell in the entire world. The, the wowie cowie. That looks fire. Gooey mooey. Messy's Bessie. Where's the peanut butter one? Oh my god. <laughs> Struggles real. 
the ebb and the flow, I guess is what they call it. There will be days when you wake up craving pancakes and movement and you wanna do your homework and hang out with your friends and your heart stops hurting for a bit and smiling comes easy and conversations just flow out of you. Those days, I feel hopeful. It's our appetizer. Then some days I wake up or am at school or in the middle of a conversation or I hear a song on the radio and it triggers me or I'll start comparing and overthinking and doubting and that's when I forget how to think and breathe and what the words calm down means. Those days are frustrating. The days that make you question whether or not you're even growing. But maybe it's about learning to believe in our growth even when we can't feel it. <laughs> Boy, my butt just rang. The Nourish Bistro is back. Oh. Check this out. Beyond Meat Sausage. Tomatoes, veggies. I'm like way too excited. Mmm. The Beyond Meat Sausage, very sausage-esque. It actually tastes sausage-y. Vegan omelet? I wonder what fake egg is made of. To you who may have had a rough week, or the one hating on her body, or who is stressed and anxious and feels unlovable or lonely, or maybe you just had the best day ever and you could not be happier with life, I still want to make sure you know that you make this world a bit more wonderful. You are so much more than the bad days, so much more than a body, and you have so many things yet to do and waffle fries to eat and mountains to climb. It takes time, but it won't feel this way forever. So don't be so hard on yourself. Everything's gonna be okay. I was so beautiful. <laughs> a view and another view. Oh <laughs> Look how green that is. Wow. You definitely have to try this. Okay, you don't need to buy a plane ticket and run away to the mountains to disconnect. I think every day we should all have moments of reconnecting with ourselves. So slow down, pause, freeze, put it away. Your long to-do lists and overstuffed calendar, take a moment or 10 or a week or as long as you need. Sign off, take a break, put yourself first. All those steps, are you kidding me? Yeah. You're insane. Watching you move out of the beat Cause it's swerving in the street Just to get a glimpse of you You were busy for them Yeah, you were striding for them Cause you know just what I'm ready to get the day started It's literally so peaceful out here I would love to say that it smells like fresh air But really, it smells like eggs and bacon A lot of bacon yeah. Sometimes we have to step out of our own mind to remind ourselves like this is life like right here right now Your heart is beating and your lungs are inflating and life is really fragile Go mommy go so stop and smell the baked goods and eat them too Look outside more often than you look in the mirror Put your phone away at dinner and no matter how big of a fight you're in with your body right now Just apologize first and tell them you love them Thank you Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get a triple chocolate cookie. Ooh, Ooh that looks so good. Whoa. Oh, craving fruit. Hello to the girl that recognized me in the fruit aisle. Romanticize your life like crazy and just do more of what brings you peace because for all we know, this is the only life we have. And this is the body that we were given to live this life with. We weren't given this life to spend all of it perfecting our bodies before allowing ourselves to live. I was obsessed with fried scallops. I never liked chicken bowls, but fried scallops were my jam. You scared? I don't sure how much I'm enjoying this. If we fell right now, game over. Everything's gonna be okay. Mommy! <laughs> 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 this is saddle up. The white people are going to buy that for you, my dear. This is the zucchini, mashed potato, and the chef's mushrooms. That is not 
not the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I'm going to go to the rest of the dog here. Now we dig in. Are you videotaping it? Yeah. yeah. Videotape her for once, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the commentary. <laughs> but do you hear it? Like, hear it. No, I'm not in a haunted house. This is actually our hotel. Guys, this is not okay. But I did find my little oasis here. This trip was perfect. Other than the fact that I couldn't freaking find peanut butter. No work, no responsibilities, no deadlines. I mean, it's hard not to love. So I kind of got scared that I'd like being disconnected so much that I wouldn't want to come back because I've never been this disconnected from my phone or have felt this connected with myself. I'm learning that sometimes we need space from the things we love. Social media is my creative outlet. It's a huge chunk of my life. It's my happy a lot of the time. But when it starts to cause more anxiety than fulfillment, exhaustion instead of inspiration, before, if it was between YouTube and myself, I would have picked YouTube any day. And maybe that's been the problem all along. I was never meant to put a body, a size, a number, a career, a relationship before myself. Going to a cafe! I may potentially get a... No! Police? Oh no, maybe not. No, these are not police! No, that's police. No, that's not police. That's literally just construction workers. I was about to say, I'm really excited to get banana bread, but now I have no appetite. We are here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I get all of them? I've been searching for peanut butter the entire trip, and they only sell massive jars. Finally found it. Guys, I finally found peanut butter. Hopefully they give me one. Oh. Can we get a peanut butter? Thank you. Secure the good. I got it. Whoa. Oh yeah. That's so good. We don't want to steal all the peanut butter. Happiness. God, it's amazing. I'm going to peanut butter withdrawal. Ma, I'm going to eat it, so. Hmm. It's gross. It's kind of embarrassing. Family you know, one of my favorite parts of this trip was that I genuinely didn't think about how my body looked. It's crazy how different of a vacation you can have, even if the destination is the same, when you experience it with You're a different kidding. mindset. Ten years ago when I came here, I was miserable and hungry and so distracted because how my body Why looked was so much more important to me than how beautiful everything else was around me. I don't even remember spending time with my parents because I spent it all in my head. This time, I thoroughly enjoyed every bite of overpriced yogurt parfaits and croissants I witnessed mother son who is scared of heights, has bad knees, and is almost 60 climb an entire freaking mountain. Guys, we made it. I share dessert with my family every day and kind of became obsessed with experiencing life, not just looking good for it. Holy crap, that is freaking beautiful. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is unreal. Every angle is absolutely beautiful. It is the life. Goodbye, beautiful mountain top. Bye. Country road for the place. Hello. Mommy, you did it. High five. Very impressive. Eating an orange. Mmm, so juicy. Guys, we met in line. Hi, Hi I'm Carly. I'm Sia. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> My name is Isha. And your name is? Isha. For one second, I just want you to forget about what you wished you looked like. What could be a little bigger or smaller, what size or shape or weight or age you are. And just forget about it. And remember that you never should let the things that you so want beautiful. make you forget the things that you already have. Being able to move my body, spend time with my family, and see the world with them, that's the greatest gift my body could ever give me. I'd pick living a fuller life than having a smaller body any day. 
I'd rather learn to be kind to my body than spend the rest of my life picking it apart. I'd rather see it as a place to live than something to be controlled. I'd rather thank it than spend every day taking it for granted. I guess sometimes it takes putting your focus on everything beyond your body to appreciate it. Kuna matata. It means no worries. Yeah, don't talk about this take. I got pulled over by the police. I don't know if you guys have seen that trend on Instagram where someone states in its security or losing sleep over what they ate and then it zooms out and out and out and out until we're like deep into space looking down on a tiny earth. Yeah, I really like that one because it doesn't mean your problems don't matter because if it bothers you, it matters. But there are just so many other things in my life that matter more. I get so tied up in my own thoughts. My entire world sometimes feels like it's falling apart, getting smushed, spinning around in a burning tornado all in my brain. And sometimes all I need is to turn my phone on do not disturb, sign off, close my eyes, take a couple deep breaths and step out into to the real world to remember there is more to life than this. Whatever this is, a bad mark, a trillion deadlines, how much food I ate, this fight, realizing that you made a mistake, a bad body image day, cramming in as much as possible morning till night, day after day. <sighs> Go outside, sit on a hill, drive to the beach, stare at the sunset, play sad music, listen to an audiobook, and just <sighs> Sometimes that's what trying our best looks like. And sometimes that's the best thing we can do for ourselves. I know I say this often, but it's because I'm really forgetful, so I bet some of you guys forget too. Don't forget how far you've already come. Think about where you were this time last year. The time when nothing was a good enough reason to get out of bed. All the things you had to relearn to repair your relationship with yourself. The things you learned because of what hurt you, not how much it hurt you. Remember all those times you thought you couldn't? You weren't good enough, strong enough, smart enough, lucky enough, but then you did. Just the fact that you showed up for yourself. You tried, you're here against all the odds. Discovered a new passion for oranges. You're not eating your oranges oranges like this, you're not doing it right. Nobody is doing it right. There has to be some people that eat oranges like this. Caveman. Not everything's gonna make sense, okay? But everything's gonna be all right. You'll be all right. You have been so far, haven't you? The things that made absolutely no sense kind of make sense nice. now. We finally found the peanut butter. Oh my God. And shout out to Chili's. And no matter how empty or hurt or behind or defeated you might've felt, you felt whole again. Sometimes it just sucks. And all of this is really hard and really exhausting. But in a way, I'm glad for that because I look back at all the earlier versions of myself, struggling, crying, confused, and upset, ready to give up, basically just me a week ago. And I smile because I got out of bed this morning. Please be kind to yourself. And I don't just mean changing that you suck to you're awesome. It's honoring who you are. It's consciously doing things that you know will make you feel happy and avoiding things that make you feel bad about yourself, even when that's what's comfortable. It's eating your favorite foods without feeling you need to earn it. It may be continuously repeating sappy, deep, inspirational quotes in your mind in order to see a new perspective. It means putting yourself first, and it may mean letting some people go. Kindness is thanking your body for how much beauty your body lets you experience, for allowing you to live Live a beautiful life. And isn't that what makes a body beautiful? Being kind to yourself is taking your time. Time to take care of yourself, to slow down, to be bored, hydrate, nap, compliment yourself, eat some oatmeal, go on an adventure in nature or a book or on your couch watching a Netflix series. I've been reunited. Pack your peanut butter in a tiny jar with you everywhere you go and take time to tell yourself that you got this.